Greetings, metaphysicians. This is episode 134, The Unseen World. And that's right, we're talking about the vast unseen world, the micro, the macro, all the things that influence us that we don't necessarily know about or are aware of. So tune in and enjoy the episode. You are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical. This podcast explores the spiritual and metaphysical world through the experiences and opinions of the host and those interviewed. It should not necessarily be seen as direct endorsement or personal advice to our listeners. We encourage you to use your own discernment, judgment, and intuition regarding anything you learn from this show. Let's get better. Welcome to the Let's Get Metaphysical podcast. I'm your host, Renata Maniachi. Here to remind you that you are a spiritual being having a temporary human experience here on lovely planet Earth. That's right. You are a soul who has been journeying through the cosmos, maybe only this planet, maybe zillions of planets, different galaxies, different solar systems. Maybe you've had existences that are non-physical, and maybe you've been part of different races and different systems and different levels of consciousness. But all of those are temporary, just like this existence in your physical body right now. Make the most of it. This is season seven, Heaven on Earth, and this is episode 134, The Unseen World. That is what has been dropping in to speak about on the podcast. We really only understand fully and not even so fully what we see around us, the seen world. But there is so much happening on the unseen levels, the micro and the macro of the unseen world, and that is what I wanted to dive into today. So are you ready? Let's get meta. Masters and angels, I request your presence, guidance, and support through this episode Please help these words to be useful to all listeners on their evolutionary journey. Please let me know the truth, speak the truth, become the truth, and be the truth. And I want to extend that today to everyone. Please let all of us know the truth, speak the truth, become the truth, and be the truth. And please let this episode reach whoever needs to hear it. Thank you with gratitude and full faith. Bless creation. Why talk about the unseen world? I think because it influences us very much at high levels. And the majority of humans incarnated right now, I would guess, have no idea that that is true. We go about our lives. We work. We have relationships. We sleep. We go about our lives. And we really only have some kind of understanding of what is befalling us from the seen world, the world that we experience and interact with and are conscious of. This episode is about exploring the unseen world and impressing upon everyone listening that it has just as much influence, if not more, influence on us than the world that we see around us. And I wanted to talk about this in two different kind of respects. One is the micro, and I think this will be a bit easier to grasp potentially because we are familiar with it on some level. And what do I mean by this? I mean the micro in terms of bacteria, molds, pollens, infections, right? So these things that we can't see with our eyes and even microscopes can only see some of the things that I've just mentioned, but they affect us so greatly. So this is something that I'm kind of talking about in terms of the unseen world. And it's easier to understand this one because it's like, yeah, we've all probably been sick at some point. We've all probably 
gotten food poisoning or ingested something that didn't sit well with us. We've all maybe started sneezing because we interacted with an allergen or a pollen or some kind of mold that doesn't go well with our systems. But we don't see those things with our eyes, but they affect us. And that's kind of the analogy I'm using to intimate that there are other things in the unseen world that affect us just as much as these things that I've just spoken about. So these unseen factors on the micro level have been affecting us and are affecting us now every day. But what else is there in the unseen world? And I almost called this episode the vast unseen world that is affecting us every day. And that's kind of what I wanted to really get into and talk about because it's so important. And yet I feel, at least my experience is is that most people don't know about these things. So what does that mean? On a more macro level, in the unseen world, we have angels, which I do talk about a lot. And if you've been listening to the podcast, you know that. And we have the opposite of that. We have If we think of angels in the general sense as being very positive, light-filled beings, there's the opposite of that, which are sometimes called demons or negative beings, negative entities. And there's always both. So we also have positive and negative thought forms. This is when you might notice it when you're walking into a place and all of a sudden you were feeling one way and then you walk into a place and you feel completely differently. You might be affected by these people's thought forms or one individual's thought forms. And that actually goes into your fields and affects you and can actually change your whole field, your whole physiology, your whole mood or your emotions. There's also various, there's all different kinds of words for these, but entities, spirits, discarnates, and things in the natural, the nature world, devas, devatas. You know, we've heard of different things in fairy tales that may or may not be there on this dimension, but are definitely present in some way. We have all these natural things that have consciousness, trees and crystals and mountains. So all of these things that I just mentioned are for the most part And what I mean by all the nature that I just said is the devas or devatas within those things are unseen to us and largely unnoticed on a conscious level, but they influence us so much. And I'm bringing this up because it would be really interesting to see with clarity at any given point throughout the day, how much some of these things are affecting us. Now, some of these things are globbing onto other humans and are taking a ride with them, whether it's a spirit or a thought form, hopefully a positive thought form, but oftentimes not so positive thought form, and they can use other humans as a free ride and they affect you. And other times, these are just things that are wandering free of their own volition and can creep in and hopefully affect you in a positive way and can sometimes affect us in a negative way. Now, an extreme example of this in a negative sense is that there have been times where people literally have been taken over by negative thought forms that are not theirs or negative entities, spirits, or demons that are not part of themselves and have committed crimes and have hurt other people or done something horrible. And, you know, on our scene level, we hopefully, you know, catch that person and prosecute them and they go through the human justice system. But there's this whole other side that 
we have no idea about and we don't take into consideration about the negative influences that that person may have had working through them, using them as a vehicle to do damage, to be negative on this plane because they need a human physical vehicle in order to actually affect more change or bad behavior or spread negativity or whatever. And that's a difficult concept to wrap your head around because on the one hand, it explains a lot. You can look back through various atrocities and crimes and the world over, not just here in the United States. And some of these things might seem like that's what happened. A person that usually wouldn't be that way, for example, and then committed something and then maybe even had no memory of doing it or did, but it didn't feel like them, these kinds of things. And there's that. But then on the other hand, if we take that into account, then what's to stop anyone from saying, oh, a spirit took me, right? Which I think actually was a defense, you know, only a hundred years ago in certain areas of the world. But these things are real. And, you know, we've talked in the show a lot about keeping ourselves clear. And one of the things that allows negativity, and I'll just say negativity, which is, I'm going to use as an umbrella term for these negative beings, whether it's demons, thought forms, entities, spirits, discarnates, whatever. And one of the things that allows negativity in is opening your field, literally opening the door for these things to come in. And how does that happen? Well, we've talked about this at length, but it happens through excessive alcohol use. It happens through drug use, pharmaceuticals, psychoactive agents such as plant medicine and some drugs and these things and even certain tones of singing bowls even certain tones in some forms of music open these portals open these doorways for negativity you ever listen to death metal some of that stuff literally opens doorways for negativity it's not funny i'm laughing at like the cartoony kind of image, like Scooby-Doo form that just, they just showed me in my mind. But that stuff is real. There are different ways to open the door to these negativities. And you can see, I mean, if we're looking at criminals, a lot of them have been doing drugs or have excessive alcohol use, or maybe have been using drug, you know, drugs, psychoactive um, pharmaceuticals, plant medicine, And then there's always those who have been completely clean and then still do something like that. So it doesn't mean that that's the only way in. But I mean, even things like different sound waves creating openings in and around you and allowing some of this stuff in. This is real and this happens. And maybe some of you, I can sense that some of you are listening to this like, oh my gosh, maybe that's why I was feeling this way after that concert or wow, Is that when that thing kind of globbed onto me is after my yoga class when my teacher was playing those singing bowls? I mean, you can think about this stuff. The drugs and the alcohol is kind of easy to explain. I mean, that makes, that should make sense, like just naturally to most people. But this other stuff also opens doorways. And the best thing I can say about that is, I mean, some of this is tricky. I was going to, I was just about to say, like, just feel into it. Like, does it feel good to listen to death metal? Like, does that make you feel great? But some people would argue like, yeah, singing bowls do make me feel good, right? And in that sense, it's like a doorway can open and good th- good stuff can come in too. Don't get me wrong, good things can come in. Usually they don't come in through drugs and alcohol. They come in through other ways. Like usually the doorways that are open through meditation or through certain kinds of toning or literally just keeping yourself super clear with healthy diet and enough sleep and enough exercise those pathways, those doorways open to positive forces that you can discern because you are clear. Now, if you are muddying 
your field and your body with these other things, it's harder to discern if the information that you're getting is actually from a good source. If the thoughts you're thinking are from you or if they're from something negative or something positive. But if you've been muddied or clouded by these different things, it could be a trap. It could be a trick. It could be these beings saying, oh yeah, I know this and this will help you. And you listen to that. And, but it's not ultimately a source for truth necessarily. And so why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because our world, not just as individuals, but countries, governments, societies, school boards, healthcare facilities, individuals that have a lot of influence, individuals that have a, have a lot of wealth. Don't you think that this unseen world, both the positive and the negative, would want to try to get in to influence what's going on on earth? It's like a big playground for them. And so everything on our planet can and is influenced by these unseen forces. Now, when you look at a terror group, for example, what's influencing them? What outside influences are coming in and actually having an even more detrimental and negative effect or impact on the direction of that group, right? Take someone like anyone with influence, right? Like the president, a leader of a nation, somebody with money, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, JK Rowling, who, you know, Anyone, any human in a physical body that can actually physically do things on this level, on this plane, wouldn't the unseen world try on some level to influence them either towards the good or either towards the negative? We don't see this happen all the time because the whole point of the episode is that it is unseen, but it's happening all the time. And now with, at least in the United States, so many psychoactive things being made legal. So how many states have made marijuana legal? Look, this is a psychoactive plant. It's not doing anyone any favors. Do you want your elected officials, your teachers, your healthcare providers, the people making you coffee in the morning? Do you want these people on this psychoactive plant that literally opens doorways mostly for negativity, people, not for positive. There's not angels coming through marijuana. If you want to connect with the angels, just become still and ask for help. That's all you have to do. You don't have to take anything. Marijuana opens doorways to negativity. Nobody's ever been on marijuana and gotten through their problem. And I know a lot of you are out there like, I love marijuana and it's helping me with my aches and pains. You know, maybe on some level there is a placebo effect there, but I haven't seen anyone who has been on this, especially people who are taking it every single day. They're not getting better. They're not becoming better, more contributing, positive members of society. And I have several friends like this, so I'm so sorry if you're listening to this and you feel like I'm attacking you. I'm not. This is an unknown. I don't think most people know this. Most people don't understand this. But for the purposes of this episode... You're opening yourself up to negative forces from the unseen world that aren't doing you any favors. They're not doing you any favors. I don't think I've come across anyone that's like, oh yeah, I was smoking this or taking this edible or drinking this amount of alcohol and my life got better. I got a better job. I'm more productive. I'm more happy. I'm more blissful. I met the perfect partner. I bought a house right? And who or what is influencing those lawmakers that made that substance legal? Or who are making any of the brilliant decisions that are going on in the world right now? If half of our government is on drugs, literally on drugs that have been legalized, what kind of negative influences are going? Well, we can see what's happening to our country, not just our country, this is about all countries and all peoples and all nations. The United States used to be a leader in the world. And, you know, I don't think it was definitely, a, it wasn't always positive. Maybe it was only positive things 
every so often, but right now it doesn't really seem like anything positive. And how much of that is because of unseen factors? And so at this point in the episode, we might be thinking, well, what can we do about it, right? What can we do if there's this whole unseen world, much of which is good and positive, but a vast part of it which is negative, what can we do about that? And I just touched on this a bit, but what we get to do is stay clear, keep ourselves as clear and healthy as possible. Eat clean, drink clean. Harder and harder to breathe in clean oxygen because things keep falling magically from the sky that are making us sick. But we have to do the best that we can to stay clear so that we are not influenced by the negative. And in fact, if we want to be aided by the positive parts of the unseen world, we need to ask for it. This is where making requests come in. This is where praying comes in. Prayer is simply a word used to describe speaking with the divine and asking the divine for help. And for me, I use divine to connote anything positive in the unseen world. And so we can remain clear so that we're uninfluenced by outside seen or unseen things. And that helps us to have discernment when we can have discernment to make the right choices for us. And if we need help in making a choice, asking for help from those highest positive, divine sources. Because those are part of, they're a huge part of the unseen world. And on some level, yes, let's go really, really macro here. Yes, on some level, all of this is being ordered by a greater divinity, a greater force. But why fall into the speed bumps? Why fall into the traps? Why go through more karmic consequence than you need to. And actually karma is one that I meant to mention before too, in terms of the unseen world. We are all, believe it or not, bound by our own individual karma, which just means action. What you have done in the past either gets put as a deposit, a positive deposit into your karmic bank account, or it has taken away from your karmic bank account because it wasn't a great thing and you have to pay for that. That's really that simple. It's that simple. But karma, for the most part, is unseen, right? It's part of this. It can be categorized as part of this unseen world and it affects us all the time. You know, flat tires or losing money or stubbing your toe or getting sick or anything that could be t- seen as a karmic debt that you had to pay for some reason. Conversely, getting a huge return on your taxes that you didn't expect or finding the perfect vehicle for you at the price that you wanted or even lower than the price that you wanted or being given something that you needed for whatever an event or an outing or something that you needed or making an awesome new friend out of nowhere. Those can be seen as your, as positive karma. You know, you're getting rewarded for whatever at that moment. And the divine has made the exact calculations that that is going to drop in for you right then at that moment. So karma is part of the unseen world as well. But we can take steps to take advantage of the positive unseen world. I guess this episode is mostly about, one, just understanding how influenced we are by things that we can't see and we don't fully understand. It's just this awareness. Number one, awareness. Look, there's this other stuff that affects us. And number two, what do we do about it? How can you prevent yourself from being affected by the negative parts of the unseen world? 
That's what we were just talking about. Stay clear. Ask for help. Stay healthy. Pray, which just means talk to the divine. Talk to the divine. Tell them what you need help with and then ask for help. And then be grateful when it shows up in the most unexpected ways, I might add. There's an order to all of this. That's just what's dropping in right now. There, Yes, there is an order to all everything that's happening on this planet right now. And it looks chaotic at the moment for most of us. It looks fearful. There is an order and you do have agency. You have a certain amount of agency to only allow yourself to be affected by the good influences. You can make choices here in your physical body on this level of being on this dimension that only allow in the good. You have that agency. You have that responsibility. And if you have children or pets, you can make requests for them too. If you are responsible for something like a child or a pet, you can make sure that they are clear, that they're eating and drinking clear, and that they are not being influenced by anything negative. Keep yourself and your families and your communities clear and then ask for help ask for guidance ask for discernment from the positive divinity that surrounds us so i really want to focus on the positive that is always what i strive to do but in order to focus on the positive you have to understand what else is out there on some level you have to understand that people are being influenced by negativity all the time and they don't even realize it they're not even aware and then if something happens if some blessing comes upon them if they decide to get clean themselves if they do spiritual work something that clears you out is listening to spirit repair and location repair two of the processes that i've talked about at length on this podcast Listen to spirit repair. It will clear you out. It'll clear your whole field of any of these negative attachments or influences that either you brought in through X, Y, or Z or that globbed onto you because you went to this place or that place. Where do you get that? Globalcma.org. That's the website, globalcma.org. Look at the processes, the products, find spirit repair. Find location repair to clean out your car, clean out your home, clean out your workplace. Put it on repeat. Just to have the angels continually clearing your spaces, clearing your field, clearing your own being. But meditation helps too. If you're initiated into transcendental meditation, that helps. If you listen to these other processes, that helps. If you ask for help from the divine, that helps. If you keep yourself clear and healthy and clean, that helps. All of that helps. So I think I'll leave it there for today. There's a vast unseen world out there, and let's just make sure that we're only consciously interacting with the positive side of it. Thank you so much for listening. As always, just a reminder, I do have merch now. You can get that at patreon.com slash let's get meta if you want some let's get metaphysical merch. Stay positive, stay safe and stay meta. The Let's Get Metaphysical podcast is an Up, Up, and Awaken production and is produced and hosted by Renata Maniachi. Our intention is to raise the vibration of the planet by sharing, validating, and normalizing spiritual and metaphysical experiences. If you are ready to raise your vibration, you might enjoy our free Let's Get Meta Master Clearing. To receive the Master Clearing or to learn more about the podcast, visit letsgetmeta.com. The Let's Get Meta podcast is inspired by angels and supported by angels. If you would like to be a patron angel to the podcast, visit patreon.com slash let's get meta. Thank you for listening. Stay meta. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Metaphysical. 